you got a core. Okay. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, on my left, Luis Erickson, Luis Hansen, Dinamo. On my right, Kiri Smith, Alana Stephenson, Ireland. Luis Sister, Suzer, Alana. Very good. Welcome back to the uh, second last semi final here at the Carlton Irish Future Series. And um, we have a uh, Interesting women's doubles coming up. Um, two Louises from uh, Denmark, Louise Hansen and Louise Searson, versus uh, two Irish um, girls of Keith Smith and Alana Stevenson. Um, interesting match we should have up here. Um, uh, Keith and Alana being the uh, third seeds in the tournament, and um, the two Danes having put out the first seeds in the round before relatively easy. Uh, Alana and Kitty also. Um, not being pushed a third set during this tournament. So a good opportunity for the Irish pair here and um, let's hope they can um, do well in this game and um, produce a good performance. Um, as you say, they had a good route through. Um, two convincing wins. Um, often close in the first set and then they seem to have closed the second sets well in this tournament so far. And the, um, the Danish girls having um, couple of three matches, three set matches on the way through, so um, 
could be an interesting matchup here between these two pairs. The combined height of the the uh, the Danes being uh, quite a bit taller than the combined height of the Irish. Yeah, must have eaten uh, a lot of good food, plenty of um, good nutrition, yeah. maybe some bananas. Well, this would be uh, appropriate uh, appropriate food for uh, the badminton players. Yeah, uh, this uh, competition is sponsored um, by Fife's, yeah. as well as um, Hilton Hotel, um, Trinity College, and um, so we're lucky to have um, these guys involved in this um, this uh, big event. Also, um, raising money here for um, breast cancer research, and um, as you can see, a lot of the um, officials here. The uh, line judges wearing the um, pink T-shirts in support of this um, cancer research, and um, some of the coaches also um, with the with the pink shirt. So, uh, good to see that in uh, in the event. Attack from Kitty Smith, taking the opportunity of a, a short lift and placing uh, the smash at the uh, the right, uh, the left shoulder. Apologies of the uh, left hand player. It really was a good counter attack from Alana Stevenson to set up that lift. Uh, good drive um, by the opponent and uh, getting the lift there. Managed to get back a few of those um, heavy smashes, um, but in the end, um, the lift just a bit too short and um, make it easy for the um, strong Danish pair to um, to put that shuttle away. Unforced error there. Just a bad choice to uh, to hit that cross court shot in the. Execution not quite there. Again, switching their attack. A um, couple of smashes onto Alana and then uh, across onto Keely Smith. And uh, proving effective in that situation. Quite often a good tactic to um, vary um, your attacking play. Yeah, at this point, uh, the Danes will be trying to suss out which um, which of the uh, the Irish girls um, they'll be able to pick through the defence easier. So they'll be varying who they smash to and what way they will smash. Varying the um, the angles and also the um, direction of the smash, and um, sometimes the pace. Uh, so uh, lots of dimensions uh, for the players to play with tactically, and uh, really um, these um, these good level players can use all these different uh, shots and select them at uh, the right time. And, um, Eight all after a um, strong start from uh, the Irish, so, uh, leveled off from, as we get closer to the uh, mid-game interval. Obviously, uh, breaching 11 um, is only halfway through the game, but it um, provides a good uh, psychological advantage for um, those who reach uh, 11 first. The minute the Danes looking uh, quite a bit more fired up than the Irish. Attacking a little bit more, aren't they? 
and controlling the net and um, the Irish girls um, a little bit back into court and um, not able to uh, attack as much as they'd like to. Uh, really uh, is a battle to uh, get on the attack. Good shot from Alana Stevenson that time. Um, whipping that shuttle into the um, the corner and uh, then following up nicely with the, with the smash. What shot would you consider um, the most important in uh, the women's doubles discipline, uh, Ben? Uh, obviously, um, a few important shots, but um, generally in doubles, making a good um, good serve um, to start off the rally, um, not allowing your opponent to, um, to attack the shuttle and um, make it go downward. And um, this is a skill they'll be practicing a lot in their training and um, really trying to get that shuttle um, that's flat and close to the net cord, um, the top of the net as it goes over, so as their opponent um, can't hit it downward. They're also um, hitting um, often to um, the very front of the um, service box, so um, really important they make the service good. So we're going to the interval here at 11:10, um, and um, very tight in this um, first set. So 11-10 in this first set, um, the Irish girls leading and uh, doing uh, doing well to take the lead in that um, the start of that first set. And um, let's um, let's see if they can maintain this form. And uh, good um, good attacking shot there to um, take the score to 12-10. There's that um, return of serve there was um, good from the Danish girl, but. Um, Keely Smith um, just backing off from her serve a little bit there and um, leaving herself exposed in the forecourt there, Tony. Um, yes, uh, apart from following up, uh, a good serve is to uh, be ready, anticipating the, uh, the third shot. So uh, in doubles, it's all about who's going to control the rally from the, from the very start. So good tight serve and ready to pounce on the, uh, the next shot. Really won the... Um the shuttle is lifted to the rear court. It's um, uh, very easy for the uh, for the pair who are attacking in their front and back formation to um, to win these rallies, um, keeping that shuttle going down um, with good power and angle. And um, there we see a, a good quality serve from Alana Stevenson, um, just um, catching the line there. Very um, very accurate serve. Getting a lift from another good serve. So, uh, at the start of the set, we so, saw um, good uh, attack from the Danes, running a lot of uh, quick and easy points. But I think it's been a quality from uh, in the front of the court, serving and net play from the Irish, which has taken them into a three uh, a two point lead. And good to see um, Alana after her serve, standing her ground at the net and um, and really threatening those um, those net shots. Uh, Giddy, um a little bit um, less threatening at the front of the court when she um, when she serves. Really needs to try and um, make a make a strong um, net shot after she um, has hit her serve and, and stand her ground at the front of the court. Good touch there from the Danish girl. Good stretch um, to take that one nice and early. Was very effective in her um, mixed doubles uh, games as well.
really seem to um, play with uh, momentum. The um, Danish girls seem to go through um, matches where the, um, their confidence is high and they're, they're very dangerous. So um, the Irish girls need to uh, not let them get into these um, periods of play where they're um, winning strings of rallies and um, not let them uh, control the game. Yeah, and uh, of course they need to they need to really uh, take advantage of the uh, the periods where the uh, the Danes are um, off form and giving away cheap easy points. Yeah, they have to um, try and break this run of um, points. And, uh, often when uh, in these um, types of players they get a, a run of points, they um, really grow in confidence and. Um, from their opponent's point of view, they have to um, really try not to let them uh, have that opportunity. A bit loose on the net shot there, but um, got away with it. Really um, the attacking play. Good steep angle again, and uh, proving very effective. So having been 15-12 up, the uh, the Irish duo find themselves 18-15 down. From uh, taking the tempo off a wee bit, bit of a uh, bit unlucky, um, but generally um, I've uh, been a bit too passive and uh, defensive these past few points. Yeah, really need to. Um, push up towards the net and be uh, really fighting to get the lift here. Hitting that smash and then uh, keeping the shuttle going down. Can't afford to be lifting in that situation there. Really need to be pushing forward and uh, looking to take the shuttle earlier. Better serve there from P.D. Smith, just a chance there for Alana to take that one um, early with her opponent uh, moving under pressure. So here's um, a few nice uh, tight serves, that's what's needed now to get bring this game to setting. confusion who's going to take that one. But, um, the first game goes to the Danish girls uh, and the score 21-17 and um, just a chance for the coaches, um, some of them wearing the um, coaches in pink, the pink, uh, the pink shirt for the um, cancer research charity so um, we'll, um, we'll hope they can give some good advice and come out, uh, come out stronger in the second set. So, uh, Andrew Stewart and uh, Daniel McGee, um, Daniel, who um, is enjoying being referred to as the Pink Panther this weekend, um, sporting his pink t-shirt. Um, what wise words do you think they would be uh, delivering to the Irish players during that, uh, during that 
break. Yeah, it's, um, I think they'll be um, advising them to try and um, get the attack more in these rallies and um, not uh, not be happy to sit back and let their um, opponents um, control the game through their attack, as we see there in that rally. Um, really, the um, Danish girls have uh, some very um, strong attacking shots and um, really in doubles, very important to try and get on the attack and um, when you are in the attacking situation, um, maintaining that attack, but also uh, in the defense, we see there, Keedy Smith um, needing to push forward and trying to look to uh, counter-attack more. So um, hopefully they're able to um, to do this and um, get themselves um, back in this game. Both girls having quite solid defenses, but uh, both uh, really not uh, pushing up on the court, like you said, and turning the defense into the attack and getting um, put themselves in a position to uh, start smashing. Yeah, a little bit uh, passive. And um, these types of shots really need to be stepping in early and counter-attacking. And um, a few uh, soft drops there from the Danish girl. And um, you'd really like to see Kitty Stiss Smith stepping in and uh, playing the net shot and um, getting the attack. Um, but uh, as you say, a little bit um, back into court with the base and um, therefore finding it very difficult to pick up those drop shots. And um, again, you, the defense is uh, good, but if you're too far back into court, um, very um, difficult to use it. It's been caught off guard as well, so uh, motivation um, needed to pick themselves up. Keep their racks up just the simple things might help get them back on the track here. Yeah. And maybe um, a few nerves. This um this semi final, one of the um biggest achievements um in this um this Carlton Irish future series will be one of the, the best uh, results they will have had. So um well, uh, maybe a little bit of nerves, Tony, in this um in this match from Petey Smith maybe. Yes, both girls participating in um, European tournaments for the past few years, but certainly this is the furthest they've, they've reached in the, the women's doubles. Um, all uh, saying that, they, uh, they both took part in the European junior circuit and enjoyed um, results and, and medals in the uh, UK and European level, so uh, I'd expect them to be able to step up for this occasion, even if um, they are uh, a bit nervous. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to see them uh, raise their game a bit here and uh, try and uh, make this uh, game a little bit more competitive in this second set. Keely Smith particularly looking uh, a little bit nervous but um, really has to believe that she has the um, has the game to compete here and um, just try and, uh, try and produce that. Quite often this is um, the way you see these matches going. Um, they start off quite even while both partnerships are testing each other out and then it comes down to belief and um, determination and uh, these Danes would be in, in these sort of environments week in week out um, but uh, maybe the Irish are less, ex less exposed to. Yeah, and the, the Danish really growing in confidence now, um, really um, stringing together lots of um, Lots of points here, and um, with a uh, very little answer from the Irish pair. And uh, Alana Stevenson just showing a little bit of frustration in the, at the last mistake. So time for the coaches to come back on and uh, give some more uh, words of advice and motivation.
So the score here, uh, 11-3, and um, let's hope this Irish pair, um, this young Irish pair, can get themselves back into this game and um, put up a put up more of a fight in this um, second half of this set. During the, this women's sport weekend, it'd be great to see uh, the first Irish pair through the uh, Irish Future Series finals, um, keeping the title of the Irish as. Um, Former partners Sinead Chambers and Jenny King took the title last year, um, winning the uh, winning the bananas um, in a great fashion. Yeah, that's it. Uh, sponsored by um, Fife's Bananas, um, so uh, yeah, all the uh, the winners here getting um, getting a hand of bananas. So uh, it's, uh, enough to get them home anyway. Yeah, enough to. Replenish all that energy they used in the uh, in the competition. Um, to to win the, one of these events, you have to play um, matches over four days, so um, really um, quite demanding. Uh, you have to be highly committed, uh, very fit, and uh, willing to invest a lot in these um, in these competitions. I feel that that's, uh, this is what it's going to take. It's going to take a bit of poor play from the, the Danes to get the uh, Irish girls kick started and get a bit of momentum going. Yeah. And get them playing like they started off doing in the first set. Yeah, we've often seen um, players or pairs when they're leading a game just uh, relaxing a little bit and uh, letting their opponents um, work their way back into the game. And, uh, but, um, from an Irish perspective, that would be um, what they'd be hoping for here. Again, these use of drop shots to Keely Smith and really way too far back into court to cover those. And uh, you hope they'd be picking up on that tactic. Um, Better rally with Alana and um, finish coming off of the net. Um, Danes, very tall girls, uh, maybe that's a, a variety of attack that the, the Irish pair need to utilise more um, instead of the fast hard drives which the Danes might be used to, just slowing the play down, letting a shuttle drop in front of them at the front of the court. Yeah, needing to um, make their opponents move more and uh, really uh, need to be able to hit with good accuracy. Um, um, good soft touch of the net sometimes to bring the opponent all the way to the front of the court. Um, obviously in doubles, um, compared with singles, much less court you have to cover and um, can often get away with not having quite such good uh, movement skills as the, uh, as the singles players. And um, just uh, finishing off the rally that time with a very strong smash to the uh, right hip of Alana Stevenson. A few too many errors in this set. Um, I think the girls will be uh, a bit disappointed with this performance, but uh, they'll be uh, have gained valuable experience. Yeah, and really, um, quite a young pairing, the Irish. So they'll go away from this and learn, and um, you know they'll come back, um, come back stronger as they um, develop and gain experience. So you know, it's um, been uh, quite a lesson here today in this match um, but um, like you say good experience and um, a good result for them to be getting to this um, semi-final yeah. and there we uh, see the final score 21-6 um, to the Danish pair and um, they will uh, progress through to tomorrow's final in the women's doubles there and um, we'll um, come back to you with our next match which will be the men's doubles between Florian Schmidt and Giles Trippett of Switzerland and Jonathan Dolan and Sam McGee of Ireland so uh, uh, really exciting match in prospect there so um, join you back here on badmintonireland.tv in a few minutes